Check out how worn out this urn is. First you have to explain what happened today. Sure, this seen morning. some miles. What happened this morning? What did we do this morning? So we got up this morning. We had to go to the kiosk to wait for the ranger for about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. And then we signed up. We're staying at the Birches tonight. And uh, then tomorrow morning we're going to wake up early and summit Katahdin. So we, just, to... we just took showers, which mine wasn't really a shower, it was just like a rinse. And then I rinsed off my rain pants because they were disgusting. And yeah, John looks all fresh and yeah, clean. Yeah, I took a shower. I went in with my shoes and all. I washed my socks. They still stink. I washed them like three times a piece with soap. They still stink. I haven't washed my socks. I washed my shirt. And uh, that's that. I woke up this morning at 6 by myself and went walked down, <laughs> walked a mile to the kiosk to sign up for the, the campsite. There's a campsite nine miles away from here. That's at the base of the mountains for people who don't know. So you have to sign up for that campsite. There's only 12 people allowed. So we got a, I got up super early then wasn't able to sign up. So I came back. Because the Ridge Rider told us to do this. Yeah, so we came back. And then went back again with Amy later. Was able to sign up. It was eight o'clock by that time. Now we're back here. We just took showers, and we got everything ready to go back out. So we're gonna hike nine miles to the base of the mountain, camp for tonight, and then tomorrow we have five miles to the summit. And then five miles back down. And five miles back down on the other side. Yeah. That's that. And then we got a hitchhike into town because there's no cell service down there and we don't know anybody so we're just gonna hope that somebody will pick us up and take us into town and i figured we'd i need i had to take a shower or else people weren't gonna let me get in their car yeah. it was so bad but yeah, yeah that's that pretty bad. there it is final mountain <sighs> back to state park Amy just said she's kind of sad that this is almost over. Well, I'm kind of sad it's almost over because um, we, we have had some really awesome experiences on the trail. And obviously, I've gotten to spend the past five months with John Leeks, Leeks. who is the love of my life. Oh. But... And it's been difficult, don't get me wrong. She's, she's, she just made that part we up. Ha we've had our difficult times, but... Every single day. <laughs> we're with each other every single day, and it's a blessing and a curse. Which way um, do we go? Somebody tell me which way do we go. Which way do we go? Katahdin Strange Campground. AT. AT. We wouldn't be on AT. Why did they make that shorter? Oh. This is what they do to this us. This is... Uh, where's the blazes? Is there no white blazes there's in this place? Oh, there it is. Um, and what else? Oh, I'm missing, like, the different people that we see every day. Like, some we don't even know their names. But, you see them pretty often and then other people like like small slice we've known her since God. small slice since uh Virginia. Shenandoah's yeah so like I don't know it's just cool to like be able to see these people every once in a while and like and get on this side I think they might be able to hear you better from this side like no I don't know you're all after the same common goal and you're all feeling the same Type of struggle. Look at this trail. This is what we thought A2 was going to be like right here. <laughs> this is awesome. I hope this stays like this the whole way because my feet hurt so bad from yesterday. Those 26 miles were... That was, that was a killer. We talked to people this morning. They're summoning tomorrow as well. 
and some of them can't wait to go hop on another trail. Totally opposite from us. We spoke to other people who can't wait for this to be done and this is it, one and done. So you got people, you know, all different outlooks on this. Right, but I don't think anybody, nobody said that they regret doing this. Nobody, no regrets. And everybody says it, you know, it was a great experience. And it was a great experience. It was just too long of an experience. Maybe we should have <laughs> hiked faster. Maybe that's where the problem was. Yeah. Oh, that's all. That's all. Now we're almost done. I wonder if we can catch a ride up to this Titan stream. That would be nice. That would be nice. Do we have to sleep in a shelter? Uh, I don't think so. I think we can camp. I really want a tent because I do not want to have a bad last night. I want to sleep. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to eat as much food as I possibly can. And I don't care what time it is. I'm taking a, taking a sleeping pill and I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> That's my plan. Well, I'm really tired anyway. So. Yeah, we were, oh man, yesterday we dragged in the camp or in table. Yeah. It was a really difficult day for us. I don't know why. It was raining and we had done, we've done a lot of miles in the past I think three or four days. We had really heavy packs because we had a lot of food. I think that played into it. Yeah. Because, like, what we're doing, and when we're going over the mountains in the beginning of the uh, 100 mile, we're doing 20 mile days. And then we got resupplied, hit the flats, and still we're only doing 20 mile days. And the day, yesterday we did about 26. And it was just like, I remember looking down and seeing where we had done 19 miles. And I felt wiped. I was done. <sighs> what are you going to do? You got to keep going. Yeah. This kind of sucked, but we made it here. We made it here just in time to get hot food. So that was a plus. Then we had no idea where to go, but we found a campsite. I'm not really sure if I set up on a campsite or not. I think we did. There's a picnic table there. But nobody bothered us. We didn't see anybody last night. Everybody camped at the A-Ball Bridge campsite, I guess. Everybody camped at the We would have done it too had we gotten a little early and been able to figure things out. Yeah, we could have but, stayed in one of those little cabins. Yeah, I would have paid to stay in one of those cabins for sure. Anything. To get out in cold <laughs> last night. And our, clothes, our, our socks were... I think it was snowing, snowing yesterday a little bit. It was weird. Yeah. I looked out the window and it looked like snow was falling. It wasn't that cold though. I guess it's colder up higher. Was it? Yeah. You have Doritos in my mouth. John, it's the eve of our last night on trail. How do you feel? I want to go to sleep. You want to go to sleep? No. Yeah, um, feel good. Feel good? Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready for it to end. Yeah, me too. So we're I'm at, excited to go to the top. Yeah. We're at Birch's campsite, which we'll show you tomorrow just how far it is from like civilization <laughs> where normal people get to camp yeah where the normal people get to camp uh john is over here sharpening his knife on a rock it looks like <laughs> yeah uh, like the flintstones i shouldn't have sent my sharpener home no mm -mm. mistake i sent it home just too early oh, bummer all right and we got those Two girls over there making a fire. 
We have another couple in their tent already, and those are the only people here at the birches right now. But yeah, I'm ready to get up and over that mountain. I'm ready to get to the top. It's gonna be cold and windy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm ready. Ready for all of this to end. All of this living in this palace that we have. I'm ready for it to end.